All right, well, somebody asked me, um, what do you do with the energy that's stored on the other side of the circuit? This is the uh, automatic uh, self-charging solar jewel thief that picks up energy from the sun and stores it in a capacitor on this demonstration. And then it runs through the circuit, lights the LEDs, and picks up the uh, leftover energy in, in another capacitor. And I, I mentioned to the person, well, I would change these to batteries and use the battery to make more light. But that's not all you could do with it. You can you can take the energy and run something else. And uh, this is Huey. I've named him Huey. And that's Dewey over there. Dewey's watching on. And the way I named these and the reason is from a movie. It was called uh, Silent Running uh, with uh, Bruce Dern. And it was back in the 70s. And he had these little robot friends. There were three of them, one, two, and three. And he named them Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And anyway, that's that's the reason these things were named like this. It was just a whimsical thing. But um, the circuit that I ended up with is this solar charging um, automatic circuit that, that triggers a transistor on and off um, to send the energy over to a standard jewel thief. And then, like I say, on the back side of the jewel thief, I'm capturing leftover energy, basically. When the coil collapses, it shoots a spike through the LEDs, and then I'm capturing it over here um, in, an, in a capacitor here, but this could be a battery. And then today, I'm going to show that it actually can run a fan. So I'm going to ask Huey to help me. Huey, blink once if it's OK if you show me how this works. OK. Do you really want me to do this? No? OK, well, um, just help me out a little bit. I won't take that much energy. Is that OK? All right. And what I'm doing is I'm I'm putting my hand over his solar cell, and when I do that, his lights turn on and off. Now he's already stored up about three volts in uh, his supercapacitor. He's not in the sun, so the light's not on. He's not actually charging the energy. He's just stored up in his supercapacitor. But okay, Hugh, are you gonna do this now? Okay. Turn the fan on. Okay. Here we go. I got a speed adjustment here for it. Okay, now there you go, Huey. Is that okay? Does it hurt? No. Okay. See, okay, the energy is coming out of Huey's secondary capacitor. This is this one right here. That's the one that stores up the energy. It's not the source. This is the source here. This is the one that stores up the energy. And I've already loaded it up, so it had enough energy for this demonstration. But this just shows you that there is other things to do with the energy besides just make light. You can actually um, use it to power something. Thanks, Huey. Thanks for the effort. Okay. Okay. Thank you much. Anyway, that's just a demonstration of how this... Uh, uh, solar energy can be stored in a supercapacitor. It can be run through a circuit, and then leftover energy can be captured someplace else and then put to use. And uh, this is what uh, I've been working on. And uh, Dewey approves, but Dewey would like to have the fan too, I think. <laughs> he was having a lot of fun with this. And it's all because of this movie here. It was a, a great movie. I recommend anyone get a chance to watch this. It's Bruce Dern. And... Uh, called Silent Running.